What's going on YouTube? Old Tom Rambler 69. Well, we got back home from the uh, Acme Southern Nationals in Atlanta about, I don't know, around 2 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Me and uh, Rick and Cletus and myself, I rode up with Rick and Cletus. We got back safe and sound. And uh, tell you guys, it uh, was absolutely a fabulous time. If you can ever get to that show, if there's one show you can get to, I would highly recommend it. There were so many uh, of the YouTube community there, so many great people. I heard the number was like 40 people was there. I know I met several new people and, and hung out with them and just had a great time. And uh, some of the older YouTube community guys showed up, like Fast Jimmy and, uh, and stuff like that. So. It was a great time. I know there's a lot of videos being posted. I didn't take many pictures because at that show it's pretty crazy and and uh, and you're really busy at the time. So uh, I knew J James over there at the the trucks garage. He'll be taking putting some videos up. There's already been some uh, Papa Dan put a video up and there'll be some other videos. Uh, I know uh, George Ramos took like hundreds and hundreds of pictures over on uh, scaleworld.net so you can check those out over there I was looking at them last night and uh, there's just literally hundreds I think he took a picture about everything there so that would be a good site to go check out if you want to look at all the pics of the vehicles and stuff that was there so anyway what you're looking at over here when I built my uh, my croup Titan that you're all familiar with um, when I was building that and was researching, I found out and discovered that Ravella, Germany had made a trailer for that truck. Because if you research that truck, they usually pulled a trailer behind them. It's called a Hannah Mog trailer. It's a 1946 trailer is what that's a, a replica of. And they made a model of it in 1999 and they released it one time only. It is an extremely rare kit to find here in the U.S. I couldn't find it anywhere, and I hunted and hunted and hunted. And I located one in Stuttgart, Germany, and I purchased it, and it was not cheap, but I thought I really needed it for that build. I purposely uh, wanted to bring something to Atlanta besides the truck and uh, put it out there on the table. So uh, I got it done. Um, I needed another set of decals for it to match the truck because the decals in that trailer kit were earlier. So I had to contact Ravella, Germany, and it took two months to get another set of decals so I could match the, uh, the truck. But that got built here. That took about another, I don't know, five weeks or something to build that trailer. So uh, I'll put a pickup of what it looked like with the truck and trailer at the show. And I didn't take many pics. But like I said, they're all over the net right now on Facebook. Um, I think I do have pictures of Freddy's and uh, CT's. I'll probably put those up since they uh, uh, won a top 10 at Atlanta. And uh, I was lucky enough to win a, a top 10 this year at Atlanta with the uh, crew in the trailer. Uh, quite a surprise to me because uh, if you ever go there, the, the quality of builds on the table are, are, are extraordinary. So... There was, uh, what I read, I think there was 646 models on the table. So to come out of there with a top 10 is is, uh, is really quite surprising to me. So somehow I've managed to get a top 10 the last two years in a row. The Bedford won last year, and now the croup and the trailer won this year. So uh, congrats to all the other winners. Great show, some fabulous models, and it's, it's just a, a great time. Had so much fun up there just hanging out with everybody and, and talking models for two, three days. So, uh, highly recommend it, guys. Anybody that can never make it to, uh, to Atlanta and go to the Southern Nationals, you won't be disappointed. Believe me, that's just a great time. I also picked up, while I was there, I was wanting that first-gen Bronco kit. And instead of having to order it and pay shipping and all, I knew that somebody there would have it. So a guy had a whole, whole box of those uh, first-gen Bronco kits. So, picked one of those up. That's the only kit I purchased while there. I didn't see anything else that I really had to have. But, uh... I did pick up, uh, this is from Replicas and Miniatures of Maryland. They were there. And I've been wanting that Scott Blower kit for a flathead. So I'm going to put that on one of my uh, 
flatheads and stick it in, you know, a 29 or a 30 or 32 or something. That will definitely be going on a build here in the future. That's going to look awesome to have a Scott Blur kit on a flathead. So uh, they're the only ones I know of that makes it. So they were there, and I was able to pick that up. Been wanting that, but uh, just an absolute fabulous time, like I said. So not going to keep you long. Congrats to uh, CT and Freddie. Um, they both picked up a top 10. And uh, Ken Hamilton, I know he won there with one of his dioramas. And uh, just amazing work. So that's about all we got, guys. Just a short little video. I'm going to go out here and uh, probably get to work on uh, the Tom Daniels uh, group build here on YouTube. Start doing something with that. So not going to keep you long. Old Tom, Rambler 69, right here, guys.